Hey everyone, welcome back to Quick Ships. My name is Jason, and today we've got a special deal here where we've been reached out to by Electron, and they've asked us to test out their level one 15 amp charger. So we're gonna go ahead and crack this open, take a look at it, and then we're gonna take it out to the Jeep and we're gonna test it and see how it compares to the Jeep level one plug plug that comes with the Jeep 4XE. So again, this is from Electron. It is a level one charger, and you can plug this into a typical NEMA, uh, NEMA 515 plug. It's a, your typical household plug. It has a 15 amp draw. It is 1.8 kilowatts. And uh, let's go ahead and crack this sucker open, take a look at how it looks. It's a nice packaging here. I do want to thank Electron for reaching out to us and wanting to work with us. We like when our sponsors reach out and want to do something, collaborate like that. So first off, it comes in a nice bag here. I, I do love to have a carry case for these things so they're not just laying around in the vehicle. Pull this out. It has a 16 foot cord on it. Set the bag over there. And of course it has your traditional J1772 plug-in. It does feel like a very solid piece. You have metal component, metal uh, button and clip for plugging it in and a cap on the end of it. So very industrial, looks like a very solid, well-made piece. It has the control unit on here and then a little bit of additional information on the back and a slot so you can hang this on a hook. If you put a nail in the wall, you can go ahead and hook this on the nail so it stays in place, make it more of a semi-permanent uh, location. And it does tell you what all of the warning lights are and mean on the back, which is nice to have. I notice on the Jeep, it does have blinking lights and such when it fails, but there's no decoder, so you don't know what that really means just that it's not charging. <laughs> so again, NEMA plug, traditional plug for the wall, and it looks like a pretty solid unit. So we'll go ahead and take this tape off of here. Some pretty solid tape. And you can see the, the cord looks to be the 16 feet as advertised. So guys, if you'll come along with me, we'll go ahead and take this on a test drive and plug this in and see how it does. All right, so we've arrived here at the uh, parking deck where our charging stations here, or our plugs for our chargers. There's only one level two, so often you have to plug into the charge or into the sockets here at these charging stations. So uh, we're at roughly 57% battery. So we'll turn this off and you can see that it's telling us that it should take on a level one seven hours and 33 minutes. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and look at these chargers and compare them side by side. So as you can see, this is the Electron that we've gotten and this is the charger that comes with the Jeep the Mopar charger. And as I stated before, you can see this has a plastic handle. The plastic is, it's a hard plastic, it does say Jeep on it, but this does not feel as quality as this electron plug does. So let me pull this back out. So when you put these side by side, you can just feel that this is a better, more solid made piece by Electron here. And again, Jeep does have the block with the lights on it, but it really doesn't tell you much about that. So it's kind of a guessing game, but the Jeep cord is very long. I think it's longer than the cord here. So there's a difference there. Also, another difference I want to show you guys is the style of the plug. So this is a NEMA 15 
like we talked about, but you can see that this is a straight plug-in versus the Jeep cord, which is actually designed so you could plug it in and it can hang down. So the cord comes downward instead of out the back of it. So that is one difference that does matter and you guys will see that when we plug these in. So first off, let's go ahead and plug in this Jeep cord and see if this will work for us today. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but plug that in and you'll see the lights flashing on here as it establishes a connection. And then it connects on here and you see it on the dash. So when we come into the dash of the vehicle, it'll tell us 57% and it's plugged in and charging. On, you can see that it shows us eight hours and seven minutes to charge using the Jeep brand charger. So let's go ahead and swap around to the other charger and see if that time difference comes down or goes up. Plug that in. So in this style, you see how when the cord comes out, it makes it just a tad more difficult to plug in. We can look at this space station here and see that it's charging. The Jeep is indicating that it's charging. We've got a good green signal. So if you look at the dash, now it's telling us seven hours and 44 minutes. So that's a better charging time and a better speed than the Jeep plug. So, so far, that'll be great. So I'll monitor this and see if there's any issues and we'll check back in. We're back here again, it's the end of the day and our Jeep is still plugged in. And according to the Jeep, it's fully charged. So our plug has done its job. The light is off, still plugged in. We come back over to the connector. We can see we have all solid lights here. But at this point we can go ahead and unplug the charger from the port here. Grab our cable and pull it out of the Jeep and we can come back and put it away. So another thing I noticed that I want to show you guys before I put this away is also a big difference is the thickness of this cord coming out of the socket here and going into the control unit. If you look how thick this is compared to the cord here on the Mopar unit, that might be another part of the reason why this delivers a little bit more power than this one does. So that's a, another difference between the Electron unit that we have here and the Mopar unit that came with the 4XE. All right, so we're back at my house again and I've spent a few weeks with this new uh, level one charger from Lectron. This is a 15 amp, 1.8 kilowatt charger. And uh, as we've learned and you guys saw previously in the video, this is the charger that came with my 2023 Jeep 4xe. And this is also a level one, but this is a 12 amp, 1.4 kilowatts. And that's why this one is a little bit slower to charge the vehicle than compared to this Lectron unit. And that's why this is a bit of an upgrade, aside from some of the aesthetic things and properties of these two uh, different chargers. Obviously, this is the one that comes with the Jeep. It, it's uh, the standard charging plug unit. It's got a thinner cable. It, it's made out of a cheaper plastic. It does have a pretty nice bag though. I like this bag. But the Electron unit has a much more solid, you can even hear it when I'm tapping on it with my hands versus the plasticky, cheaper feel of this one. It's a little bit faster. It has a nice dust cover that goes on and off. And it's a little hard to pull off. And uh, the base unit's pretty nice. Now one of the things I've noticed while I was using this, this uh, control unit here does tend to get a little bit warm when you're plugging it in. But after using it for a few weeks, I have no concerns about that. But it is something you'll notice if you go out and check on it, as I did several times to make sure it was working right and there were no problems. This does warm up. And for those of you who like the peel, I never did peel that off. There you go. <laughs> but the performance of this was flawless. I had no problems where I've had several instances at the deck at my uh, work at my job site where the Jeep one would fail. And I don't know if that's because of interference from other units being plugged in for other EV vehicles, but the Electron never had that problem. It never dropped a charge. It never failed and connected, reconnected again. It just did its job and charged the vehicle. Uh, I wish the case was a little bit nicer. This case is a nicer case, more protected, more padded. 
This one is kind of cheap and flimsy, but I, I will gladly give up on the case to have a better unit, the thicker cable, the better feel to it. This just feels like it's more quality. And one of the things that I liked, sometimes I liked it and sometimes I didn't, was this plug. It's a straight plug when you plug it into the, uh, into the socket. And at my job, we have covers over the socket that come up and this gets in the way of that cover. Kind of a little bit of an inconvenience where this unit has a drop down plug. So when you plug it in, it drops down. But I have run into plugs where the plug is this way and you're always putting that bend on the cord. And I think that could cause premature wear. So there's pluses and minuses to how these cords are positioned. It seems like you just need to pay attention and get the right fitting for you. But again, this is an excellent product at the price point it comes in. And uh, I would highly recommend this. And if you guys are interested in this, there'll be a link in the description down below. Please check out that link. Uh, it does help us out on the channel if you use that link. If you do want to purchase one of these units, we would much appreciate that. I hope you guys found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to hit me up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. And uh, we like hearing from you guys. We like answering your questions. If you have any more or want to see something that you haven't seen yet, Hit us down below in the comments and let us know what you liked, what you didn't like, and uh, any questions that you have. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.